I'm Jordan Bell with Texas A&M AgriLife and we are at the North Plains Groundwater Conservation District's Water Conservation Center. Over the last several weeks, many producers have been asking about the last effective bloom date. And so to help address this question, Mike Bragg, the county agent in Dallam County, and I have been tagging blooms in the cotton and conservation video fields. So as we talk about the effective bowl maturation period, we are actually talking about how long it takes a bowl to fully develop and mature into a harvestable bowl. And so in order to do this, we have actually been tagging cotton blooms, starting with the white bloom, which is the first day of pollination, and then tagging over the last three weeks so that we can help identify which bowls and how long it's actually taking bowls to mature in this region. So on average, previous research has reported that it takes 750 heat units for a bowl to fully mature. In this field, we have actually accumulated approximately 1,500 heat units during the growing season. And over the last three weeks, we have been accumulating approximately 20 to 25 heat units per day. So at that rate, it will take close to 35 to 40 days for a bowl to fully develop. When we look at these bowls, of course, we can see that this is a bowl that was tagged um, on August the 8th. And so we can see that over the last 12 days that that has started to um, develop into a nice size bowl. Of course, the bowl itself actually in the fiber development actually occurs the day of flowering. The first day and over the next 20 days, the fiber actually starts to elongate. And that is when we start to see that bowl expand. And then within the next 15 to uh, 20 days following fiber elongation, we start to actually put on layers on that fiber and that fiber thickening is that micronaire development. Of course, this early stage is going to be significantly affected by heat as well as by water stress. Also, the plant is going to naturally regulate um, which bowls that it can fill just due to the, the load that it potentially has. So it's not uncommon as we move into um, later stages of bowl development to start seeing more fruit that has been shed and bowls that have been shed because the plant is going to regulate that. 